And here is the thing. Has the government lost all common sense over COVID? Uh, we know there's a lot of things we can debate about coronavirus lockdown rules. There are many areas that really don't make sense. Much of it is confusing and there's inconsistency in there too. And we started what feels like back in the day, of course, with the two metre rule. Some countries had three metres, some countries had one metre. I get it. You've got to start somewhere. And whilst there is no empirical proof as to what the meterage is, we have to settle on a number. So we settled for the two metre rule in this country. I get it. But I guess... Somewhere along the line, and we have all manner of rules, there was a sense that perhaps we're slightly losing our way. It seems, for example, the rules about meeting people, you can, what have we got there at the moment? It's hard to know. You could, even Boris Johnson the other day struggled on this one. You can meet f no family together indoors, but you can meet outdoors. No one can meet outdoors, but you can meet indoors. You've got blue eyes you can meet in the living room, but not the dining room. You can meet to the pub, but only if you're married to your cousin. I mean, the list goes on of confusion. I can't keep up with it. Has the government lost its common sense over COVID? 0344 499 1000. The pub closing time. That's really been the kind of front and centre headlines for the last couple of weeks. This nonsensical move appears to be entirely counterproductive as the entire country now sees thousands of people falling out of pubs simultaneously. Bang on the hour of 10, a conveyor belt of vaguely sizzled Brits are dispensed onto UK streets. This means large crowds, all nicely clogged together, packed into public transport because most aim for the next train home, and on occasions having impromptu parties in the middle of the road. This simply cannot make more sense than a staggered closing time. We'll come back to that. But one area, perhaps, um, we haven't really touched on this, we momentarily talked funerals, but not an awful lot. And it's absolutely a focus of this issue today. And it ties in with the whole common sense issue as well. Here's a fact for you on funerals. How many people die in this country every year? Any ideas? On an annual basis in the UK, around about 550,000 people die. Over half a million people. That's a lot of people. It's a lot of funerals. In fact, if you want to work it out for Countdown fans, that's 1,300 funerals a day, by the way. And that's if you include weekends. It's likely to be more. 1,300 funerals a day. We don't often think about the implications. We are aware there is a rule around funerals. No more than 30 people. You can have 150 people in a pub. But don't be mourning in groups of more than 30. That's not right. At the moment, that's how it stands. And even... Then you have the indignity, of course, of social distancing. It's harsh and it's cruel. There's no consoling each other, all separated out by state rules. Grieving, it seems, is a crime. And this terrible scenario was brought to a head by a story from Milton Keynes. It happened just last Friday. This was the funeral of Harry Wright. Now, Harry died from a heart attack in September. And family and friends had gathered. Harry's widow was sat in the middle of the room and the service began. Here's what happened. I therefore offer you all a very warm welcome as we unite in love and friendship. Okay. Right. To... That actually happened. Harry's widow, seated in the middle, her two sons, two metres away, one on the left, one on the right. One of them, noticing how upset his mother was as the service began, edged his chair towards his mum to console her. And as he did this, somebody who, I, I mean, he wouldn't have been out of the place in the Avengers, for goodness sake, turns up. This huge unit pitches in. And can, can we just hear it again? This is not a parody. This is the world we are currently living in, Mr. Johnson. This is a, a funeral that took place for Harry Wright last Friday in this country. It is, this is not satire. This is not invented. It's not parody. This happened. I therefore offer you all a very warm welcome as we unite in love and friendship. Okay. Right. To... I saw that last night. I was absolutely speechless. 
it was horrendous to watch. And this is it goes back to the point I was making a second ago about not really having talked about this area very much. There's about to be people listening to this right now who've recently been to a funeral, who are going to one in the coming days. I'd like to hear from you. This was one, possibly one of the most horrendous things I've, I've seen in this entire COVID lockdown story. The visuals to begin with, by the way, I'd never, again, I'd never thought about this. There you have a service. There's the, the, your man. I don't know whether it's a, a man of religion in a crematorium. The coffin of dear Harry is in the middle and the family are sort of scattered around. It's, it's the ultimate dystopian image and everybody is two metres apart. By the way, when did we go back to the two metre rule? By the way, we noticed that. It kind of went down to one metre plus, didn't it? Use your common sense. It seems to now be absolutely all the rage down at the Covid rulemaking society. And everybody is scattered around. And as the service begins, a man interrupts the service to tell a grieving widow and her son that they cannot console each other. Sorry, you've got to move your chairs back. We're not destroying the virus here. We're destroying humanity. 0344 499 1000. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to post that onto, onto Twitter. It is worth just having a look at the visuals as well as the distressing moment when a funeral is st literally stopped a funeral. Where do you have to be on the evolutionary scale to think that that is OK? A man walks into a private funeral. He's obviously been standing at the back some kind of Jobsworth character, and decide, sorry, they're breaking the rules over there. I can't be having that. Excuse me, widow, could you please stop? Yeah, yeah move your chair. Is that where we've arrived at? Um, if you're not yet following me on Twitter, uh, then go there now, because I will post that video, because I want you to see, I mean, it's upsetting because of what it is and what's happening. But even just the, 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 the optics, as they say, of how the the whole funeral is set up is just deeply distressing. Have a little look there now. Oh, uh, you can call us on 0344 Um I'm on at Ian Collins UK, at Ian Collins UK on Twitter. Um, and if you're not following me, follow me there and I'll post that video shortly. It, If you like, it kind of just sums up the fact that the government has lost its common sense. And this is on the government. Mr. Johnson, sir, this is on you. These rules are being followed because your government set them out. The lunacy of the 10 p.m. curfew. Epidemiologists are broadly, it seems, the more I speak to, in agreement that this appears to be a completely futile surplus to requirement move. Not backed up by any science. It was purely political. Doesn't make any sense. And when a grieving widow cannot say goodbye to her husband of many years without some kind of character entering the equation to put a stop, a stop to a funeral service to tell off the mourners, the son and the mother. Sorry, you can't sit there together. And I'm, I'm asking, it sounds ironic now, doesn't it? I'm asking, has the government lost common sense? It is absolutely appalling what happens to this poor family. But before you get to that point, the set, the spreading out. And here's the thing. You're not required to sit like that in a pub, for goodness sake. You're not required to sit like that in a restaurant. You're not required to sit like that in the workplace. You're not required to sit like that in a bus. You're not required to sit like that on a train. You're not required to sit like that on an aeroplane. But for some reason, down at the crematorium, they get very strict on these rules. Can't have these mourners taking the mick out of COVID. It's a funeral. Think dignity. Think civilization. Think the 21st century. Think being nice. Think doing the right thing. I think, Mr. Johnson, your government have lost the plot on this one, sir. You've certainly lost all sense of common sense when it comes to COVID. 0344 499 1000. Let's factor in the curfew rules. Let's factor in the rule of six and let's factor in funerals. If you're on your way to one or you've recently been to one, uh, you're arguably in prime position to talk about this. 
Um, I, I think of Harry Wright's family, who are the people affected by this. And what a horrendous moment that must have been. Maybe they were able somehow to transpose that moment into some kind of, you know, Harry would have laughed kind of moment. That's all you can hope for. And matey boy, who interrupted, well, I'd like to think that fella's gone home, locked the door and ain't coming out for a long, long time. I should say a spokesperson for Milton Keynes Council said, we're very sorry to have upset the family. We don't usually step in if a guest needs to be comforted by another family member. And in this, in and in this instance, we should have taken a more considered approach. Yeah, you shouldn't have been there at all. Why are you policing funerals? Why are you policing funerals?